Waiting three or four days for vital DNA evidence can be a major frustration for police, with suspects released on bail frequently committing further crimes. But the testing process has been revolutionised, and key forensic services rapid hit technology can now process a sample and search the profile against the National DNA Database in under 90 minutes. Three youths have been arrested after a man was stabbed to death in Enfield. The emergency services were called to Exeter Road yesterday lunchtime. Three men, aged 17, 18 and 21, were arrested on suspicion of murder. But having found your suspect, that's when half the problems can begin for the police force. The recent changes reducing the amount of time that a suspect can spend on bail to 28 days means that discovering as much as you can about them while they're still in custody has become increasingly important. Well, every detainee that comes into the police station will be checked on the police national computer uh, and checked on the DNA database. The, D the PNC computer will tell us whether or not uh, DNA has been taken from that suspect. From the moment that the suspect is booked in, the clock starts ticking. The police have 24 hours to either charge them or release them. For more serious crimes such as murder, that can increase to 96 hours. But even that's not long enough if there's no DNA record. Well, the current process involves samples being collected from suspects in custody. They're sealed in tamper-evident bags, they're transported to the lab. They then go through a fairly complex process with lots of instruments and a fair few people, um, resulting in a DNA profile perhaps five, six, seven days later. If we get a persistent offender and a known offender and potentially a dangerous offender, knowing some that have come into the custody suite is that we may then bail them out or release them without charge on a particular offence they've come in for here, whereas a matter of fact they may be wanted elsewhere for more serious offences. But all this could change with the advent of a cutting edge system from Key Forensics that can make DNA profiling faster and easier than ever. And not only that, it can be done in the custody suite itself. They've called it Rapid Hit. The sample is taken in custody, it's analysed in custody, and the results are passed to the National DNA Database from custody. That whole process is 82 minutes. The Rapid Hit DNA instrument is not only portable and can be used away from the laboratory, it also doesn't need a forensic scientist to operate it. The technology is, is so exciting, it's so novel, it's so transformational, and it has been around for four years already, so we've been working with the manufacturers over that time. And it's only now that we're seeing the benefits of that. It's only really now that the technology has become fast enough, uh, robust enough and cheap enough. I think it's changing through a fantastic level, to be honest. Detainees that we bring into the police station, if we don't already have the DNA, if we can share that DNA within the 90 minutes, that's going to be a fantastic tool to actually uh, bring people potentially to justice for other for services. That allows the officers to deal with that intelligence from the National DNA Database whilst the suspect is still in custody. So in theory, we never need to bail anybody ever again. With statistics indicating that around 180 crimes are committed every day by someone on bail, Rapid Hit has the potential to revolutionize these rates. I think there's two things that will happen with this kind of technology. Uh, I think it will get faster. I think there are minutes we can shave off uh, and we will get below one hour in analysis, I think it will become cheaper. And eventually, laboratory-based DNA testing, perhaps even in the next five years, will become a thing of the past. For the modern police force, rapid hit is all about the one thing you never have enough of, time. Less time to get the evidence you need, and a long stretch of time for the offender.